And first here at 5 o'clock, the Yukon men are making their big push in round one of March Madness. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Irene O'Connor. We have team coverage for you tonight. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dylan Fearon is live in Manchester, catching up with some excited Husky fans tonight. Let's start, though, with Channel 3's Mark Robbins live in Albany with an update on the big game. Mark. Irene, what a fast pace to the start of this big game, as you absolutely correctly call it. UConn, the fourth seed, Iona, the 13th seed. Both teams like to run up and down the floor, and it's 18-17. Uh, Iona with about uh, eight minutes gone in the first half, still 12 minutes to go in the first half. The Huskies are trailing it here in Albany, but again, a fast-paced game as we much of uh, many expected it would be. Now, earlier before this game go got going, the, the French frenzy, if you will, isn't just reserved for Friday nights on Channel 3, but it got going pretty early as the fans were streaming in here to the MVP arena. The game between the first game of the day was St. Mary's and VCU. St. Mary's won that game, so now those uh, St. Mary's Gales a week await the winner of the Huskies and Iona. Earlier, the Huskies celebration continued or really began at their team hotel. Huge pep rally, fans and alumni, and the band gathering, and uh, don't forget, it's St. Patty's Day. And for one Waterbury native, it's also his birthday. Oh, that's quite the celebration. Good excuse no matter what. Everybody has a... Usually green beer and corned beef and cabbage, so. <laughs> and will the Huskies give you a present on your birthday? I certainly hope so. I'm a little worried about Rick Pitino because they know he's a good coach, so he might give former us a Celtic. tough time. Former Celtic. Mm -hmm. He might give us a tough time, but I think we have more talent, so definitely should pull out a good win today. <laughs> Everybody's having a good time right now. So the Huskies trail it and the under 12 timeout, 18 to 17. Still a lot of basketball left to be played. Seems like it's going to be the high scoring game and full of excitement that we all expected. I'll be back live at 6 o'clock with an update. Reporting live in Albany, Mark Robbins, Channel 3, Eyewitness Sports. Mark